Hey, Melinda, how's it going? It's Ryan. Good, how are you? Doing great, doing great. Um, is, is Patrick able to join us today? He's right here. Oh, nice. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Good, how you doing? Doing all right, doing all right. So uh, is this an, a new house you guys got, or did you guys do a refinance? No, we did a refinance, and what it is is that this was what, when I sent this information back to new res or to you guys it was i guess we were recommended to you people from new res for mortgage insurance right yeah so kind of like how you have insurance on your your house like the in case of a fire or you know whatever um flood or something like that you don't go through new res for that you go through insurance company so i'm kind of like the i'm what's called a medical field underwriter and i'm just assigned yeah. to you guys to kind of do all the shopping for you okay make sense yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, were you able to get a, a copy of my license sent over to you? I did. I got it on my phone. I saw that. Perfect. Okay. Valerie so yeah. sent it over to me. Good, good. Yeah, just required to show you guys that. Um, but, but what I specialize in is uh, mortgage protection, you know, final expense, life insurance, retirement planning. We'll focus on the mortgage protection today. But, you know, if you have questions about anything else, just kind of let me know. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm what's called a medical field underwriter. And kind of what that means is, you know, I'm not like your traditional agent that works for one company, you know, with only a few products. I'm more like a broker. So I have access to over 30 A and best, A plus rated companies. And they're the best of the best, you know, like uh, John Hancock, Aetna, Mutual of Omaha, Transamerica, etc. I'm sure you've heard of a couple of those, if not all of them, correct? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do today, guys, is spend about three minutes on some medical questions. And then kind of based on your age, your health, and your habits, I'm going to shop those 30 A-plus rated carriers and see first, you know, what you guys can qualify for. And then second... Yeah, but... Go ahead. Excuse me, Ryan. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm looking for mortgage insurance. That When I said that paperwork and that was for mortgage insurance, what does that have to do with, um, like, why do you need all this medical information? Yeah, so so there's the insurance you have on your house, you might be getting confused, right? So you you already have insurance in your house in case there's a fire or a flood. Is that where we're getting mixed right. up? So what this no. more Okay. So what mortgage protection does is it pays off the house if there's a death, illness, or disability. Are we on the same page? Yeah. Okay. So because it requ because it covers you in case of a death or illness, the insurance companies won't won't approve someone that currently has cancer because that's going to be too much of a risk, right? Um, also, right. if you imagine someone that's 20 years old in perfect health, you know he's going to get a better rate than someone that's 75 and has COPD and, and has diabetes, right? So the rates are yeah. all kind of based on that medical background. Is that making sense? So this mortgage insurance is something that's not included like the homeowner's insurance is into your mortgage, we would have to pay this separate every month. Right, and the homeowner's insurance, you actually pay separate for that as well. It's just kind of built into your escrow and your payment, right? But the, the right. bank makes you have that insurance. That's to protect right. them so that if there's a fire or something like that, the house gets rebuilt. And that way, like if, if you foreclose on it, you know, they could take that house and sell it and at least make their money back on that loan, right? So they kind of require you to have that. This protection is more protecting you guys, okay? You know, if something were, were to happen, making sure you guys don't lose the house to the bank, okay? Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Okay. And then the second thing I'll do is once I search those companies, I'll, I'll kind of find out what the lowest cost plans are. Um, and kind of give you a few different plans and options that I see most people tend to go with. And when we find a plan that's affordable, you know, and kind of covers your protection needs, uh, what we'll do is submit a request for coverage, okay? So the insurance companies, you know, they're the ones that need to think about it more than you guys because they're the ones that take that risk, you know, if something bad happened tomorrow, like if you're to pass away, get sick, something like that. Um, sometimes they'll give us an instant approval today. You know, other times they'll tell us we have to wait a week and sometimes they'll decline you, okay? Now, if you do yeah. get approved, um, if you get declined, which we'll I figure out, you know, the best next route to go, but, you know, if you do get approved, you'll have what's called a 30-day free look period. This is kind of where you'll have 30 days to make changes to the policy. You know, you'll be able to raise it, lower it, switch it around or whatever. Um, or if you decide you don't want coverage, you know, the insurance company's happy not to cover you, 
okay? It's not gonna really affect the insurance company or affect us, you know, it's just gonna affect you guys if things don't go according to plan, right? Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. All right, I mean, in a nutshell, basically we have to get you approved first, and it really doesn't make sense to think about something that, you know, we don't even know if we can get yet, right? Right. Okay. Perfect. So we'll get into this medical stuff real quick. Um, when you guys fill out this form, it, it sounds like you were a little confused about what it was, but was there anything particular that you guys were looking for? What do you mean? We're looking for, we're looking for mortgage. We're looking for mortgage insurance. That's all we're looking for. Just making sure the house will be paid off, right? If something happened yeah. to any of you guys. Okay. Yeah. And then what, what's your situation look like right now? You know, if, if something happened to one or the other, would you be in some financial hardship? Don't think so. I don't think so, yeah. Okay, so if, if Patrick were to pass away tomorrow, you know, how much income would you be losing, Melinda, you know, each month? I should lose a lot, but she'll make it up on my benefits. Right. Okay, so you have like a, a kind of like a pension that would pay out to her still? Yeah, should yeah. Be. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And then if, if something happened to Melinda, would there be any income loss there? No. Okay. So it, it, it pretty much stays this, your, your same, you're going to have the same income regardless of who passes away, correct? Correct. Okay. But it would be nice to at least have that loan be eliminated altogether, right? So that you don't have a right. mortgage anymore. Okay. If it's, if we can find something that's affordable, right? That would obviously be something beneficial. Right. Okay, cool. So we'll get some quick questions out of the way here. Um, what's your monthly mortgage payment? What is it? 2024. 2024. Okay. And then what do you guys have in place right now that would pay out to, you know, each other if, if you guys did pass besides the pension? Do you guys have any life insurance or anything? Yeah. Yeah. 401ks. Life insurance. Yeah. 401ks. Okay. And then you got, what kind of life insurance do you guys have? I have it through work. I bought the mutual through work. Okay, through work. Okay. Um, and do you guys have any private coverage, like something you own yourself? You guys there? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you guys say? Well, we're traveling. We're on the road. That's why. So we might lose you. Gotcha. Okay. Well, usually we're supposed to have you guys home. I wonder why they scheduled an appointment. I'm sorry. We're talking to you. We're driving here. So, is it, you guys hear me okay, though, even though you're driving? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, um, so we got the 401k, we got some work policies, and, and typically, you know, we don't really consider the work policies coverage because they're kind of like, you know, up to if you're working or not, right? So, if you're sick... Right, and, but the thing is, is then we got them through the credit unions, the, ba the banks. You got, you got a credit union one, too? Yeah. Okay, so you got... So then that... How much coverage is that? Okay. I think a thousand, yeah. About a thousand. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right. Well, let me go get you some options here and we'll see if one of these makes sense or not. Okay. Both, both are 56 years of age, right? No, I've just turned 57. Pat's 56 till October. Gotcha. Well, happy birthday. We got a couple options here. Um, this first one, it's 239,000. Okay. Uh, traditionally, mortgage protection is an accidental policy because that's usually what kills us, you know, in the short term why we have a big bounce on the house. It covers, yep. it covers both of you guys on the same policy, so if something happened to one or the other, for $53.31. $53.31 to pay the whole loan off if you guys were to die of an accident, okay? That's a month. That's monthly, yep. Okay, now you guys do qualify for up to half a million. So I'm obligated to show you those two as well. So I'm, the next one I'm gonna show you is 350. And the reason why you'd get extra is just if, you know, you wanna pay up the house and have some extra to live off of, okay? So 350 is $76.05. And then the half a million is the max coverage you qualify for. Uh, the half million is uh, 10676 for the half million. Well, how, how much was the 350? Uh, 350 is coming back $76.05. And, uh, and basically, these are all going to stay at, you know, the 350. So 
it would pay off the loan, any, any bounce you had on the loan, and any extra would go to you tax free. We got pretty much three options. We can do the, the full house payoff for $53, a little extra, $350 for $76, and then the half million for $106. You know, which option do you think would work best for you guys? Well, what do you say about taxes? I hear that's where I lost Oh, yeah, they, these all pay out tax free. So you don't pay any taxes on the gains. And it protects okay. both of you guys. Like if, if something happened to Patrick, it could pay out. If something happened to you, Melinda, it pays out. Sometimes to both of you guys, it pays out to the contingent. Probably like the kids or brother or sister or something like that. Now, just say we, we, we'll go for the $76 one, 350 mm -hmm. But what happens if we sell our house in uh, three, four years? Yeah, good, great question. Um, these are fully transferable from house to house. And you're, you have that price locked in all the way to age 80. So you can keep it as long as you want, let it go whenever you want, but they'll guarantee a 350 and you can lock in that price of 76 and they'll never change or adjust. What happens if the house turns into a camper? It's still 350 It's just at the time you have the house, they look at that, but then they're not going to track it from there. All right, then we'll go, um, actually, let's do the 139 one. The 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 five hundred thousand for one hundred six. No, it's the first one. The one hundred thirty nine thousand. Well, it's two hundred thirty nine thousand for fifty three. Two hundred thirty. Yeah, that's well, what I meant. Start yeah. with start with the lowest one, and then you'll if you get approved on it, which we're finding out today, you'll have thirty days to adjust it. Okay. Great. Right, so we want that one. Let's see if we can get you approved on it first here. Please, definitely be helpful if something happens to you guys. I have the house paid off for her, so. All right, so we got loan amount, 239000 How come you guys do these over the phone and you don't come to the houses? Uh, we, great question. We, I used to. I used to travel all over the place and do the house, but because of the COVID pandemic, they yeah. switched to doing over the phone. Um, they can either do phone or Zoom calls, but, you know, it's it's been kind of a, a crazy year. Most people working out of their houses nowadays with the whole pandemic going on. Yeah, you know? they sure do. I mean, I'm vaccinated and stuff, but, you know, if you pick it up at some household and then you're sitting down with someone yeah. elderly, you know, it's, we're in yeah. the business of protecting people. So it's like, you don't want to risk giving someone something, you know? Contradict you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, our jobs are to protect lives, not to, not to ruin them, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of why. But yeah, it's kind of a, a weird transition because, you know, how to do this all online and stuff was kind of, took, took, was a little bit of a learning curve, <laughs> you know? All right, we're to the last part. Um, this is for the payment information. Uh, what bank account do you want to use to pay for this? Why can't we just pay it when a bill comes in? Um, for Yeah, great question. Uh, we do the 1st or the 15th as a payment day. Uh, since today is the 15th, just any ongoing payments will be the 15th, but it takes three days. But the carriers... They, they don't approve anybody. It's actually a legal law in the United States that they started after 9-11. Do you remember when they passed that Patriot Act? Do you remember that in the news? Yeah. Well, basically, they were finding out that terrorists were funding through life insurance because some of them have cash value, and they're using it for money laundering. So now every policy, when they submit it, part of the approval process is to verify that that account is like a valid account. Yeah. There's no laundering going on, Okay. So that's that's the reason why. Now, as far as me putting in the uh, the information, it's blacked out for security purposes. So it makes me put it in twice to make sure it matches. But it's very secure. Okay. okay? But that's the reason why. All right. Um, but yeah, I just need to know the name of the bank and then uh, the routing number twice and the account number twice. for the, That's why it's, I have to do it twice for that security purpose. Yep. Uh, wait, what about a, what about a visa, like a credit card? I don't have my checking account. I can't, I don't have access to that. Yeah, let me driving. go, let me go back here. I think there might be a way. Um, yeah, we can do the, the first one, uh, with a credit card. And then, then when you get your policy, you can update it to the bank account, which you, yeah. which you're going to want to do anyways, because you know how your cars get lost and stolen all the time. Yeah. So that way you don't have to like update it or if, you know, obviously we have this for protection in case somehow you missed a payment, you know, you want to make sure that yeah. it's in there. All right. So let me see here. I'm going to go back here. 
Right, I know what you're saying because we're Yeah, so the card. first one we'll just put on a credit card, then we'll send the information in. Yeah. Yeah, hold on a second here. It says I'm trying to say email signature. Do you have access to email on your on your phone? I do. Okay, perfect. I, I'm driving. I hope we have service because the only way to do the credit card one is um is it is like send an email to you guys, um, and then you put it on your phone, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to get it to work when I say uh, the next page. When I say credit card, it keeps. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay. We might be able to do it. Oh, you might be able to get the bank. Well, she. I think she has a checkbook with her. Okay, that's gonna be easier, guys, for you. I can't get it to switch to credit card. I don't know what's going on here. taken Ryan uh, if it gets approved it would be fifty three dollars and thirty one cents okay I can give you my checking account Let, let's do that because I can't get it to work it keeps saying some sort of air so all right perfect so what's the name of your bank that you're using and then uh, the routing number I have to put in twice here so let me know whenever you're ready okay and then one more time Nice. So who's this fifty three thirty two? Get like who? Who's it's a, this money it's, going to? Yeah, yeah. The company's called Mutual of Omaha. Mutual of Omaha. You heard of those guys before, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So been around forever. A rated company. All right. Thinking Wheel says congratulations, Melinda and Patrick. You've been approved for the two hundred thirty nine thousand dollar mortgage protection coverage. Uh, coverage locked in until age eighty for fifty three dollars. So good to go, guys. Congrats. Okay. All right. All right. So if, yeah, that's awesome. You yeah. Mail us all that stuff. Yeah, they'll send out in the mail. Uh, it takes about a week to process, and then about another week probably to get it in the mail. And then just keep in mind, uh, you guys have another 30 days if you want to upgrade it to up to half a million, okay? Okay. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, Melinda, I'm going to text you my contact. It's going to have my name. Uh, all my all my phone numbers in there, all my emails, my addresses to my house, my office. That way, it's all in one spot. If you need anything at all, just give me a call. I'm here to help you guys. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Well, hey guys, enjoy your vacation. Reach out if you need something. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. All right. All right bye.